It is Easter Sunday and you're probably celebrating a little differently this year in your homes without attending church services. If you attend and without celebrating with extended family, all because of stay at home orders to stop the spread of the coronavirus. And this morning, Blanca Cobb and I are talking about ways to deal with these different celebrations today. And Blanca, we've had the stay at home order for a few weeks now. There's been some time to adapt to it. Why might some people might have a harder time dealing with it today? Well, the disappointment is even amplified, right? So the stay at home orders mean you can't go anywhere. So you can't go to your church services or you can't do brunch, but also you have that social distancing, which means you don't even see the people who aren't in the home in the home with you. So think about this. You have a, a way of doing things and then you can't do them anymore. Then naturally that's going to cause some disappointment. Yeah, obviously a lot of people are disappointed and that's mm -hmm. understandable. So what are some ways to make the most of the situation? Always think about what you can control and what you can control is your attitude, right? So you find the silver lining. So if you have a positive attitude, then you can look at a situation a little differently. You might approach it more creatively, more positively. So just because you can't have Easter or celebrate it the way you typically do, doesn't mean it takes away from the significance or the importance from you. And as you've heard me say a lot of times on different segments, whatever you can mimic online, then do that. So let's say you normally go to brunch, but you can't just set up your phone to actually have a FaceTime as you all are eating. So you just have to try to replicate what you can. The hardest thing is for family or friends who don't have access to technology. That can be the biggest disappointment because you can't reach them. But look at it this way. After this is all said and done, because this will be over, then you can make up for it. Then you can reach out to them. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people already. They're dressing up still for Easter Sunday and their Easter Sunday best. I see you have yours on. Right. Love your dress. So maybe Thank people you. can do that at home. Absolutely. And it's what you make of it. it when is. it comes to situations like this, when everything is out of your control, it really is how you make it. What is your attitude towards it? Yeah. And if I'm telling you, if it's more positive, then you're going to see more positivity. I think so. Now you can continue this conversation with Blanca on her Facebook page. That's Blanca Cobb, body language expert. And